Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing numeric data. This is standard 6.12c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 34 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a list showing the number of heartbeats for 12 people during different exercises. We simply need to find the median. All right, so this is the word that this whole problem revolves around. What is the median? If we don't know what that is, it's not going to be on our reference materials. So this is how I always remember what the median is, right? I think of a big, big street, right? And so we've got various lanes coming this direction and then sometimes there's going to be like a strip in the middle that's got like these trees and it's going to have grass or concrete right here right and then it's going to have the same number of lanes on the other side well this is actually called the median and it's called the median because it's in the middle of this huge six lane street Right, so the median simply means the middle. So when we're looking for the median, we're simply looking for the middle number. Now, here's what we don't want to do. We don't want to just take a look at this list and then immediately find the middle. Right, so there's 12. So since there's 12, that means it's there's going to be 6 and 6. Right, So we want the number that's right in between 6 and 6. Since it's an even number, it's going to be between those two. If it were an odd number, we can find the middle one. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We don't want to simply take the number, right? There's six over here, there's six over here. What's halfway between 82 and 72? That's going to be 77. Well, first off, that's not an, an option. Secondly, it has to be in order. So we have to order these. It doesn't matter whether we're going to be greatest to least or least to greatest. So we have to put them in order. That's the tricky part because we have to make sure, it looks like our smallest, let's go least to greatest, right? So I'm just going to do it like this. Three, four, five, six. Right, and then we'll make another column. And I'm going to look for a number that's right in between that six and that seven. If we do it like this, we'll kind of keep ourselves in order to make sure we don't miss anything up. So it looks like that's 70. I'm going to go least to greatest. It's my smallest. After that, it looks like it's going to be 72. And then I'm looking for 70s, okay, so 73. And then I've got two 75s. And it looks like I'm done with all of my 70s. Now I need to look at 80s, looking for my smallest 80s. All right, so I've got an 80. And then I've got, there we go, an 81. And I've got two 82s, oh, three 82s. 82, 82, 82, and then an 84 and an 86, right? So there's many different things I can find from this. If I wanted to find the mode, this would be it. That's the most chosen number. If I found, wanted to find the range, right, it's going to be my first number, 70, subtracted from my last number, right, 86. So that's 16. But I don't want either of those. What I want is my median. So I need a number that is in between, right? We got half and half. So my number is going to be right here, right in between my 80 and my 81. And you might be thinking there is no number between 80 and 81. Well, Let's just put it on a number line here. If I've got 80 and I've got 81, I need a number right in the middle. If they were both 81s, then I could choose 81. If they're both 80, I can choose 80. But one's 80, one's 81. I need to go to decimals. And what's in between 80 and 81? Well, 80 and 5 tenths or 80.5, right? That's in between. You have to go to the tenths place. So that's my answer, A, 80.5.